Hello everyone, Fluffy here, um, back with another mukbang. On my time schedule, I should have uh, videotaped yesterday, but I really didn't feel like it. Uh, so today, what I have for you is my mother's uh, tamales. And um, if they taste good, you'll see this video. If they don't, you won't. And the reason I say that is they've been freezer in the freezer for quite some time. I um, was looking through the freezer of what I could make and what meats we had, and I, I noticed these, and they were like triple wrapped, and so I initially tasted them. A little dry, but that's to be expected, but they taste really good, so um, we'll get started. So I see saw by everybody's comments that y'all really, really liked, I'm just reaching over here for some of my salsa. This is my homemade salsa. Um, I really liked my nachos, and I'm really glad that they were so good. The only thing I didn't like was that the chips didn't stay crunchy, but I think that's because, um, damn it, I ate them too slow. I have sour cream, and that spoon was supposed to be for it, and I'm not getting up, so. Let's see, can you see from there? There we go. Mm, pretty good. Still pretty good. I was afraid they'd have the freezer burn taste, but like I said, they got wrapped super duper good. And I think the making of these tamales, my nephew kind of see they're a little dry. Uh, hers aren't usually like this. Um, it's the been in the freezer. Kind of twisted her arm to make these. Um, so it's it's a big undertaking for her. She gave me the recipe, and I, for the life of me, I cannot find it. So, enjoy these. The last time I ever tasted them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Spare the meat in them. We stuff them pretty good um remember i had the canned tamales no comparison nana rambles you did a video of those canned tamales and i could tell you thought they were okay they're a nice staple to have in the fridge i mean in your cupboard but uh they don't compare to these so without interfering I might okay. that's what they look like on the inside pretty good huh <laughs> Oh, did a quick close-up. Not as long as I normally do because it's just tamales, no rice or anything. So I'll put it in somewhere around here. Good, right? They look good. Oh, the chile. She does put spices inside her masa dough. Her masa dough tastes so good. I could eat up just a tamale with nothing in it, just the masa dough. See this big monster? Make sure I get rid of that waste basket. That's where I'm putting all the. So the dough. 
dogs don't get in it. See if that was here. He's just acting like the the king of all he surveys. See him? He's like on a pillow and then a blanket. <laughs> so he's here. Y'all. Remember that little sheep my daughter got me for um, Easter? Take a close look. You see all the grass on it? Yeah, and this thing was covered. It looked like it was one of those chia pets. <laughs> and I keep finding it on the floor. So, oh, how did everybody's weekend go? Hope it went well. Mine was pretty uneventful. Mm. Did I tell you? I think I did. My, I have, I'm the middle child. I have an older sister and a younger sister. My younger sister has four children, three boys and a girl. And it was her boys, two of her three boys that helped me move. So I've been keeping them in salsa. Because they love my homemade salsa. Because they didn't wouldn't take money. Probably because they knew I was poor. <laughs> but, and then a daughter, the one that lives in New Orleans. And my older sister is the one that has a boy and a girl and... She's, I'm 54, so she's 56, be 57, something like that this year. Anyway, she has the one that has the 10-year-old because she had babies late in life. Well, my two sisters, their husbands are brothers. It's a big one. Look at it, it came all apart. What a disappointment. That's okay. Well, it still eats. Um... So they're brothers, and I mean biologically brothers. But um, the oldest sister's husband on Wednesday night, and just you know, fast forward if you if I told the story right. Wednesday night. He was playing with his son in the front yard, casting lures, I guess, pretending to be in the water. And one got up in a tree. And for what I'm told, his brother-in-law was a fanatic about his lures. Apparently he has the old-fashioned, old-school lures, like 20 to $30 a piece, and I'm sure if they're vintage, they are cost more than that. Why he was playing with that kind of lure, I don't know, but... They got it up in a tree. A 10 year old son said, Dad, let me get it. And his dad said, No, I'll get it. Went up the ladder and fell, hurting his leg. And they thought it was his knee. My sister wanted to take him to the emergency room, but he's like, No, no. And once I get in the house and rest it, I'm sure I'll be fine. Well, mind you, he and his family. His brothers 
are the type. Just wrap. I cut myself. Wrap it in duct tape and keep moving. <laughs> They're all like that. So the next morning, apparently, he woke up and it was like super swollen. He could hardly move it or whatever. So he reluctantly agreed to go to the ER. And my sister got hit by a van. Last year or the year before. So her back's not doing too well. And this is not a small guy. I'm trying to get him up in their pickup truck. He fell. Probably hurt it more. So long story short. Or is it still already a long story? <laughs> long story short. It was broken in two or three spots. below, Just below the knee. So they gave him surgery Friday. It didn't last as long. They said it was per perfect. It's for perfect surgery. If there is a perfect surgery. Um, this is so good, but it's so dry. Um, maybe it's because it's a big one. a small one down here. Let's try this one. This kind of feels moist. Um, <clears throat> so they finally let him go yesterday. So he came through the surgery fine. Rehab's going to be like six weeks. He can't, he can move it, bend it, but I, he can't put any weight on it. Because uh, he'll move it or bust it or they put a plate and some pins in there, or some screws in there. So, so far he's doing fine. Oh yeah, this one's much, much more moist. Probably because it's smaller. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's a little spicy boo-boo, but you want to taste it? You don't care, do you? Here you go, Molly. Sheep! Come here. If you smell it for five years, I'm not giving it to you. There you go. There you go. You smell the meat, so it didn't take you but a minute, did it? That's the only... Exciting thing that's going on. You hear him? He's like snorting like little Pika. But I'm dropping a lot of it, y'all, so as soon as I'm done, all you got to do is hover around my feet. <laughs> if y'all don't see me for a few days, that means I got sick on these old ass tamales. <laughs> Not because my mom's fault, because it took too long to eat the damn things. Yeah, they taste perfect. They don't taste freezer burn. Like I said, they're just real flaky because they've been in the freezer. Almost paid it, y'all. Your tummy can take all that pika. <clears throat> we'll 
try one more. Now this one's going to come out, I think. Yeah. Oh, I'm so disappointed. But they're so, I'm eating out of this because they're so good. The meat is so good. I can't even tell you. Mmm. My mom takes the Boston back pork, sh pork shoulder and she will bake it and then stew it. Oh, the juices from that is what will go into the masa. Oh, this is so good. If y'all have someone in your area that are pretty trustworthy, that you can get some homemade tamales. Usually the going rate is like $13 for a dozen if they're homemade. Try it out. These days they make bean ones, chicken ones. They're so good. Mmm. All right, I'm not going to eat that one because I don't know if that feels dry. So I will probably feed the dogs, which is a shame because they don't deserve this good. <laughs> yeah, they do. See, there's so much good meat in here. I just don't want to let that go to waste. All right. Twenty minute video. You tell me in the comments if you think this was a fail or a not fail. <laughs> they tasted good, so I'm going to put up the video. Um, I thank y'all for watching. Y'all continued prayers for Sarah Jane. Apparently, she's making really, really good progress. So, I'm glad to hear that. She's talking. So, that's good. Uh her mom, Dee Dee, has given us good updates, so please continue to pray for her. Send her some positive vibes. Um, I would appreciate that. So, God bless, God bless y'all. Positive vibes out to each and every one of you. Remember to always be kind, and I will talk to you real soon. Bye.